critically look at the third subject of this session, which is the complaint of bundled head of being paid as a recipient. We discussed this a few weeks ago, that this grant made provisions for everyone to be a recipient. There is no provision for you to maintain the, the entitlement of a bundle head. This particular episode of UAH disbursement treats everyone as a recipient. I know at a certain period I intimated you, my subscribers, that I will reveal to you how much a recipient is entitled to during disbursement. You might have already been aware. Yes, the template is that NGO CEOs will be given one bundle. For those that are still expecting 200 bundles, 500 bundles as a, a, an organization, you will receive just one bundle, except you have any special arrangement or commitment to the UAAG that deserve compensation with many bundles. But generally, the more than 90% or 95% of CEOs will receive one bundle. One bundle contains 1,000 beneficiaries. This each beneficiary is entitled to 100,000 Naira. I know that is what we were expecting to hear from the uh, UAAG country director in the last meeting and from the All Grants Pressure Group. But during that meeting between the president of All Grants Pressure Group, uh, Comrade Abdul Razak, he actually stated that the money that you are going to receive as a beneficiary is enough to take care of your expenses throughout the entire grant uh, process since seven to six years ago. I know that is what he was actually preparing the minds of the media towards. The money is small, but it will take care of your expenses. Then to the bundle heads that are complaining or asking how they are going to be benefit from the grant if there are no provisions for bundle head. It's a simple mathematics. If you had five bundles and you were supposed to be paid as a bundle head, now there is no provision for bundle head, then you become a recipient, instant recipient in your NGO. That means uh, five bundles become five recipients. So you supply five account names, different account names, one of your account names and four other from your friends or your family members to the CEO to be captured in the same slot. If you apply for 10 bundles, 10, 20 bundles, then you simply provide 10 or 20 different account details to your NGO for disbursement. That is the arrangement for this episode of UAAG grant. So you are not actually be denied your entitlement as a bundle head, but you are paid as a recipient, pending subsequent grants that is oncoming after this one. This grant is uh, assumed to be a logistic for everyone, logistic for you, the bundle head that spend money to mobilize the bundles, then logistic for the NGOs that have traveled around Abuja, stayed in hotels, that have even bought clusters since the era of Sam, Telpacon, Golden Bridge, Mama Supreme, Hilbert, expensively. I know CEOs that have spent 20 million, 40 million naira since the past seven years. So this particular grant may not actually redeem those expenses, but will at least take care of 70 to 80 percent of your expenses so far in the history of the grant ecosystem in Nigeria. The last question everyone wants to hear is when is disbursement taking place? Going by feedbacks we are getting from authenticated sources, disbursement is scheduled to take place this week. I know some people will say that the usual this week, next week, we are tired of it in the grant ecosystem. But whether you believe it or not, UAAG disbursement is taking place this week. Trust God. We trust it is going to take place to the glory of God and humanity. UAAG disbursement is here with us. Thank you for having me.